Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Everybody Show. Paul Nisa with the Raw Life Health Show. And the last couple of days on the show, we had quite a controversial, popular subject, but it's a sensitive subject as well. And it was about my vow not to touch any woman other than my wife. And, you know, there are a couple of misunderstandings about this. The first one is, yes, I will touch my mom, and yes, I will touch my baby daughter. But it just pretty much ends there. You know, our Creator gave us these guidelines for a reason. And he told us uh, what to do. And I know I feel better doing these things. Now, if you don't, then don't do it. Uh, but for you to say I'm wrong, by quoting scripture, and also by living uh, the life that I feel that's best for myself, my family, and pleasing to my Creator, you know, it's not wrong. It's, it's the way we should all be. Now, the other controversial subject was about, you know, I said it's unclean. A woman is unclean when she's in her monthly cycle. And some people out there got kind of offended or, you know, they had some comments about, well, how could you say that if that's just a natural process of the human body? I agree, but the unclean I was talking about is different than we would consider unclean today. It's a proven fact that blood, when it's being expelled from the body, is not clean. And the monthly cycle is, is a cleansing where all the toxins are being released from the body through the blood. Uh, and it's a purifying process. And that blood is unclean, which makes the woman unclean, which, if I touched her, would make me unclean, according to the scriptural guidelines. So I'm not going to go touching a woman if I know she's on a monthly cycle. And I don't know, so I'm not going to go running around touching these women, period. Uh, but, you know, when we say unclean, it's not saying, like, she's evil or she's bad. No, she's actually experiencing a beautiful process of nature. Just like if, if I cut my hand and blood starts gushing out, my hand's going to be considered unclean. You know, and, you know, but on the other hand, there is a, a rule or a guideline in the scriptures that say no matter how unclean a person is, if you could save a life or help a person in terms of, uh, from, that, from a health standpoint, uh, that's the most important. So I don't care what stage a woman is in, you know, even though I said I would never touch a woman again, if she's uh, experiencing a, a situation where she needs to get to the hospital, I'm going to pick her up, put her in a car and take her to a hospital if I have to, if she needs me to do that. You know, if, if somebody else is bleeding and they need me to help them out, I'm going to help them. But what I'm talking about is by touching a woman, you know, I'm not going to go around hugging other women. You know, I have my wife to hug and she's been given to me by my creator and that's the only woman I want to hug. I'm not going to hold a woman's hand in his personal moment of prayer. No, because, you know, it's my, my wife. I, she's the only one I want to get personal with. Uh, maybe I should have said we touch women in the wrong way or we touch people in the wrong way and at the wrong times. And, you know, for those of you to say, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not right to call a woman unclean during her natural monthly cycle, well, you know, it's the blood and the impurities that are coming out of her, out of her that are making her unclean. So this is a very sensitive uh, subject, and uh, Matt Monarch, somebody who has a, a, a video show on YouTube as well, and he's a raw food author, he contacted me and he wanted to interview me about this topic, so that's what we're going to do here in a couple of minutes here, I'm just getting set up for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up now with... Uh, the, with the computer, and we're going to do it on Skype because Matt is in, uh, he's in Ecuador right now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get ready uh, and get this uh, computer set up for this interview with Matt Monarch, and uh, we'll be back in a second. Welcome, everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show coming at you in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Today we've got Paul Neeson. Welcome, Paul. Hello. Good to see you guys again. Right now I'm in uh, Midwest, I'm in Kansas City, heading to Portland, Oregon. Wow. So, um, hey Paul, there's been a lot of uh, controversy around a few of the things that you are um, promoting these days, in terms of like your new lifestyle and spirituality. Uh, well, pretty much there, there's always been controversy about... Uh, a lot of the things I do, but that doesn't make me stop doing it. I don't do things to be the most popular speaker out there. I'm doing things to uh, please my creator and also uh, for health. Now, there's uh, this is something that I've been talking about the last couple of days, but I've been practicing quite a while, but some people are quite offended because they didn't know what I was doing. So I decided I'd let everyone know so I don't have to explain myself every time somebody comes to a lecture and, and they try to hug me and I try to stop them like something's wrong with them. Nothing's wrong with anyone out there. I'm just uh, pleasing my wife and my creator, and uh, I believe this is the way it should be done. And if somebody doesn't, they could hug other people. I, I won't get upset if they hug other people, but I just wanted to explain why I'm not hugging other women other than my wife. And 
you know, if there's a spiritual brother out there that wants to hug me, I love hugs, and I do believe in the power of touch, but I do believe, uh, you know, the touch of another woman is reserved for my wife, and it's something that comes along with the covenant of marriage. And, uh, you know, people take things out of context sometimes, but, you know, I feel great with what I'm doing and write about it, and the emotions of anger and all these other emotions are not good for our health, and a lot of people seem to be uh, angry or have some other negative emotions about what I'm doing, which I see as a, as a beautiful, kind act of, of love, and I'm not running from people, I'm just explaining to them that, you know, I want to give all my energy to my wife and not uh, other people, especially strange women as I'm on the road. Okay, so, um, me, I've known Paul for about a decade now, and we go way back with really good friends, and I and Angela respect, like, every choice you make and everything that you decide to do, and I think it's a good idea, I mean, it's, it's something awesome. Um, now, just so everybody knows, what is going on here is Paul has um, decided to stop touching all women but himself. For himself. Wait, 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 say what did you say? <laughs> do, do I look like a woman with this beard, man? Come on. <laughs> Listen, uh, what had happened is uh, I just, you know, and I, my, my mother, my wife, and my, my daughter are the only three women I want to touch, hug, hold their hands, or anything. I don't, no one else out there who's a woman, don't be offended, but we could have a conversation without touching. Uh, and me and you go back away a long time, Matt, and, 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 and you know that I used, I'm, the, I'm a hugger. I used to love to hug Jack everyone and uh, love to hug people, but I also used to love to walk around without a shirt, and I used to love to do a lot of things that uh, really go against the message found in Scripture. But the more I get a, a relationship with my Creator, the more I found out that those things aren't conducive to a healthy lifestyle, emotionally, physically, or spiritually. And the more I want to please Him, the more it goes against the ways of the world. But we look at the ways of the world today, we have more disease than ever before in the history of man, you know, and people doing what they feel is best. But I kind of want to stop doing what I feel is best, and I want to do what my Creator wants me to do. And, and it's my prayer that one day, you know, as I grow and evolve, that I feel best doing what he wants me to do. And right now, I'm at that place where I feel great doing this. And uh, some people miss this hidden message in the scriptures because they haven't read the scriptures. Uh, and some people are like I used to be. They just love to hug, they love to touch, and everything else. But nobody could tell me out there that, you know, it's... Uh, a wise thing and the divorce rates in this country or in this world are higher than ever before you know to just go around hugging strangers and hugging women and everything else now I went further and told people the idea behind it from a scriptural standpoint is when a woman is in a, a stage of purity or a stage of cleansing when an impurity of uh, her toxins through her blood is coming out of her body uh, in scripture they might say she's unclean, but it's not the way unclean is meant today. And it's another thing people got the wrong idea about because people were thinking, how could I call a natural process of the human body unclean? Well, I think it's beautiful that a woman would have a monthly cycle and all the impurities through her blood would come out. Uh, and it's not the woman that's necessarily unclean as much as the impurities in the blood that are that are making that woman unclean. And if I touch that woman, I become unclean. Uh, well, th the same thing will happen with... Uh, you know, if I cut myself and I'm bleeding, that's not clean. There's nothing clean about that. However, there's also a, a guideline in the scripture that says uh, all these laws and these, these guidelines and these suggestions in scripture are overridden by the beautiful act of helping somebody in need. And not in need with a hug or a kiss or, 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 or holding their hand, but in need with, I don't care what stage a woman is in or anyone's in, if they're sick and they need me to pick them up and take them to the car to get them to a hospital, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to stand there and say I can't touch any woman or anything else. But I know now I'm respecting my wife. Uh, I'm teaching my daughter uh, a valuable lesson. And I'm also pleasing my creator uh, by doing what he told us to do. And he told us to certainly not go around hugging women other than our wife. What if, what if your, your daughter was five years old and she brought a friend over? Can you touch her? Uh, you know, and that's another thing what people say is if I bump into a woman on the street... It's certainly different than holding their hand and hugging them. You know, so some people want to get quite extreme with that. Uh, but if my daughter's bringing all the little girls, I mean, I have no reason to be hugging these little girls. I mean, this is a big problem today. And, uh, you know, I don't know why anybody would want to hug, you know, these little girls, you know, and just hug them. And it's, it's a really big problem. So, you know, I can do whatever I choose to do, but I'm not going to sit there and start hugging my daughter's friends. I think that's kind of weird, to be honest. 
Okay. What about your twin sister? Uh, well, the, in, in the scripture, it's actually a Jewish thing which is called Nida. Uh, and, uh, and it's, you know, the, we're not supposed to hug any woman of adult age uh, other than our wife or our mother. Not our mother-in-law, not our sisters, not anyone. It, because the whole essence of the scriptures and the whole essence of, of, of keeping the community or the root pure of what we're doing, it, it comes all down to the root. And you guys like to plant and garden things, and you know if the root is destroyed, the plant is not going to thrive. Well, we're taught, and the message of scripture, the essence of it is to keep the root pure, so anything that comes out of that will be pure. And you guys are gardening, so you gardeners, so you know that if the root is destroyed, what grows out of it is going to be destroyed as well. And it's all about purity. So, uh, like I said in my video, most of the health, good for your health. This is the raw life health show.